Okay, I said signing for Chelsea in 2012. Kenneth has been loan, 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 loan. Uh, why don't we get permanent? <laughs> I play for a team. I want to just get at the mirror at this team. Yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully soon. You know, um, for me, it's important that they, they, they respect me. They, you know, they've given me the opportunity to be out there, and uh, every season I, I get offers if I'm not staying, but. We'll have a meeting this time around, and and I'll, you know know what's what's the what's the what's the plan. You know, you, you know it's uh, I I want to be in a place. I want that mm. to to be able to to grow my football, play more regularly. Would you like to be at Chelsea? Yeah, that's the M. You know, that's the number one. The fans has been amazing. Despite I've not been there, you know, but they still recognize me all over Nigeria, you know, it's amazing and I really, even if I have to go out, but I think I will play in Chelsea. Mm, sounds good. Since you, it's not me, <laughs> since you brought up Nigeria, let's come to Nigeria now, Kenneth. Talk about the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Tough one for you guys in New York against South Africa. What's your take about that match? Um, you know, you know, sitting there on the bench in the first half, I thought, who are winning this game definitely you know but football sometimes it it doesn't go you know as it seems they had they didn't have more chances but they created two of them you know we couldn't come back from the you know from the game so it's it's gone now we have to walk you know towards the next game what are the lessons from that game i, I think uh I think to, to, to be focused at all times because uh, looking at that game, you know, there were times we switched off. I think we have to stay in the game even if the goal isn't coming or we're losing by one goal. We have to, you know, remain focused and play and, and you know, play play professionally. Mm, can I watch this goal? Was it a problem? Was it defensive error on that day? Uh, I, I don't. I wouldn't say that because um, the the first goal was okay. Was a cross and a header, which can happen. Mm. But the second goal, normally when when defenders go up for a corner kick, mm. whoever stays behind is becomes a defender. Mm. You know, your your duty is to protect that place until everything is gone. Because for me, I think the goal was too easy. Mm. You know. Well, we're still trying to understand what really happened in that game between Nigeria and South Africa. Tough pictures for football followers in Nigeria to see. But, um, Kenneth, was it an experience that affected that team? Because we kept on saying it's a young team, it's a young team. Was it an experience that was a problem? I, didn't, I, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. Of course, uh, the players, the South Africans are more experienced than us. But we, we, have, we have good quality in the team to, you know, to play and... With time, we've been. If you see the team, you know it's a young team that needs time to grow. But you know, in Nigeria, we we want to win every mm -hmm. game. We don't mm -hmm. have that patience to, to build the team. Particularly if it's South Africa <coughs> that we have branded yeah. our wives. You know, yeah. South Africa should come here and just run over. And, at all quarters, there were many calls that Kenneth Muru would have been in that game. Kenneth Muru, Kenneth Muru should have played. How would you have made a difference if you had played this match? I think I would. I want to believe I, I would make a difference. But at the same time, you know what happened when I first played for the Super Eagles as well. You know, coming in as a young boy, I didn't even know I would play. You know, and if we won that game, let's say 4-0, we wouldn't be having the same, you know, mm. discussion. The, mm. Everything would be, uh, we found a new defense line and everything is good. But it's football, you know. Everybody on that field, for me, I, I trained with them, you know, and they were in camp for three weeks before I joined them, you know. So the coach saw something for him to decide to use them, you know. But everybody in that pitch were, were worth it. Mm. Yeah. We're talking sports right here, channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. We have Super Eagles defender Kenneth Omiro with us in the studio. And want you to, if you have questions for him, keep them coming uh, on Twitter channels underscore sports, Facebook channels I think sports. We're taking a look at all that involves club and country football. Kenneth, let's let's get let's get you you talking. Uh, Gennaro and his technical team. What's your take on them? Um, 
they 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 are serious. You know, they they do they do their research. They research teams. They go to watch matches. You know, they have. I'm sure before the Cameroon game, so I think we already have lots of videos as well. I'm sure there will be someone there in the Confederation Cup watching. You know, this is important for us because we need to know our opponents. You know, mm. and this is something that they've brought into the team that is really good. Mm. Because mm. We, we, we know each and every one of the players before, you know, before each game. But, but, it, but the team didn't play like they knew the South African team. That's one two zero in you. Yeah. Something just went wrong on that day. Yeah, like I said, it's it's football. You know, it it doesn't it doesn't always work out the way we want it to work out. Mm. Okay, it's football. We'll take it that way. Uh, Cameroon, they're they're competing uh, at the Confederations Cup. Do end of the road for them. I will watch yourself, Cameroon, when they play the Super Eagles for that crucial 2018 World Cup qualifying game. You think the Super Eagles can fly over those indomitable lions? Yeah, I believe so. Tell me why. Because, uh, one, I know they've been in camp before us. They've played in the Nations Cup. They, they've they gone to the Confederation Cup as well. I think right now they're a bit confident. And uh, for us, we're, we're, we're a young team. We, we have good talents, and we know how important it is you know, to, to, to win that game. We know how important the World Cup is. And coming from a huge lo loss to South Africans, I think we'll be hungry to win. Mm. I totally agree with you, because that's what Nigerians want. They want to see. But if you look at this Cameroonian side, um, I can, uh, they're pretty physical, they're compact, and when they want to play, they will play. We, I think we shouldn't judge them by what we see at the Confederations mm -hmm. Cup. Um, but um, just hold your thoughts with that. Uh, we're talking sports right here, Channel TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Kenneth Omeru, Super Eagles defender, Super Eagles and Chelsea Football Club of England defender. Kenneth Omeru is with us. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, Kenneth Omeru will still tell us why he's so confident the Super Eagles will beat Cameroon. Don't go anywhere. Stay.